Cat here at Oshkosh 2021 and I have the Dynavibe. I just want to give you a quick little uh, rundown on that. Can you tell us what this unit does and uh, what the basic model can give you? Yeah, so I'm Steve Sinnon with Dynavibe. So what we do is we manufacture vibration analysis equipment and one of the functions our, our equipment will perform is dynamic propeller balancing, which is most important for this crowd around here. So we actually manufacture the equipment that will give you the data in order to dynamically balance the prop. We don't do it as a service, but we sell the equipment to people that do, do provide the service. Yep. So um, we use this little RV uh, demo plane here just to kind of demonstrate how everything hooks up and how it works. And so this is our basic entry level unit. This is called the Dynavibe Classic. And prop balancing really regardless of which kit you're using, it all pretty much installs the same and you're using the same sensor. So what we need to have basically in order to do this is we need to have a control unit which has got the software in it to collect the data from the sensors that we install on the airplane. And when we run the airplane, because we are dynamically balancing this, so we're doing it while the airplane is running, as opposed to statically balancing it, which, which is being done statically at the prop shop. So these sensors are gonna send the signal to the control unit, and the control unit is gonna give us the engineering data that we need in order to dynamically balance the prop. We have two sensors. We have an accelerometer and we have a photo cell. So the accelerometer is going to basically tell us how bad the vibration is, and the photo cell is going to tell us where on this prop, and we I can't use a real prop here because we're inside a trade show, um, but the photo tax is going to not only give us our prop RPM, it's going to tell us where the prop is heavy, okay? So think of it as we've got a heavy spot somewhere on this prop. Let's say it's over here, and as the prop's turning, that heavy spot wants to continue traveling straight and it causes everything to shake. So what we can do with the unit is determine, one, where that heavy spot is, two, how bad of a vibration that heavy spot is causing, and then depending on which unit you have, we've got this entry level unit and we've got the more advanced GX3 unit, which is much more automated, but essentially they'll both do the same thing at the end of the day, which is balance the prop. And what we would do is we would run the airplane on the ground at cruise RPM, and we would have to run it at cruise RPM for about seven to 10 seconds to get a reading. And that reading is basically gonna tell us, one, what the proper RPM was, two, how bad the vibration is, and this accelerometer measures velocity, okay? And the engineering unit, unit it uses to describe how bad the vibration level is inches per second, or IPS. Okay. And that's the most common term used when you're balancing a prop. So it's gonna tell us, hey, this is how bad your vibration is. And using the photo cell, it'll say, hey, your heavy spot's over at this location, and it'll report it in a degree angle. And based on that information we have, we will know where to add counterweight in order to compensate for that mass imbalance. And again, depending on which unit you get, some are more automated than others, yep. but the entry level unit, will, will it's fully digital, it'll balance down to literally no vibration due to the prop balance. So what we would do is we would add counterweight to the prop to compensate for that heavy spot where the counterweight is typically added for continental Lycoming applications would be one, the, the starter ring gear, um, the spinner backing plate or the spinner flange and the hardware we're using to add that is just standard AN hardware that is approved to mount on the prop. Okay. So that's the long and the short of it yeah. and when you're actually dynamically balancing the prop it may take you three or four runs of adding trial weight on the prop to kind of refine the solution to get the vibration down to an acceptable level. Yep. And it makes an incredible difference with the airplane. Of course, with smaller general aviation aircraft, um, having an out of balance prop is something you're gonna feel a lot more than on a larger airplane, yep. but it's very easy to do. There's nothing complicated about this. Um, and it's something that really everybody should probably have done to their airplane. And a lot of people are out there in the GA fleet, GA owners who don't even know you can do this still. Mm -hmm. I think we're a lot more advanced now as far as people knowing, but most people, when they have this done, 
they are very surprised at the results they get. It's much smoother, it's much quieter. Is there any efficiency notice as well? Yeah, I mean, we've had some of our engineers do a study and they've actually found, I can't remember the, the values exactly, but you actually picked up a little RPM off of it too. Okay. So, I mean, if you think about it, I always just try to use an analogy, I think everybody can understand, your ceiling fan at home, if it's rattling back and forth, you know, that's doing damage, it's making a lot of noise, and essentially the same thing's happening on the prop. But the takeaway from this would be, you can smooth your prop out by dynamically balancing very easily at a, a pretty affordable price. I think it's probably the most economical, most efficient, and the fastest thing you can do to eliminate vi vibration. Well, yeah, it's kind of like preventive maintenance in a way. Uh, sure. You know, it's a small investment to uh, protect, you know, the life of really your, your engine, your prop. A lot of people, when we're talking to customers, use the analogy of, well, if you just bought four new tires for your car, wouldn't you want them balanced? So even with this unit, which is an entry-level unit, this is called our Dynavibe Classic, um, it comes with some accessories, weight kits and case bolt adapters and mounting hardware. It would literally work from, you know, uh, LSA aircraft to a Kinger. All right. Well, I appreciate it, the info, and really hope that the others will check this out and check you guys out and see what they can do for them. Yeah, check out our website. If anybody has any questions, they can always give us a call or email us and we're happy to help out. Thank <laughs> you.